Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today I have a unboxing and a few unbaggings and I want to share with you a project that I did. If you've watched my latest video, I did mention in that video that I did my own rendition, if you would, of the Louis Vuitton dust bag for my Daisy Rose totes. So let me show you that first and then we'll get into the packages okay I did buy a few things one off of Amazon in this and then one off of um actually two from walmart.com all right so as you can see this is my rendition of the Louis Vuitton bag in the Daisy Rose I wasn't sure if I wanted to put the Daisy Rose logo on there but I did in the silver and the gold lettering as they have it on the tags so <clears throat> I realized that the Daisy Rose tags are not. Here's my Daisy Rose newest tote. So you can see the Daisy Rose. Can you see that? It's not necessarily glittery. However, the only letters I could find, and I got the letters from Walmart, were the glitter for the Daisy Rose. And then this actually opens up <clears throat> a flap, and then you can put your bag in in there like that and then it would just flap closed just like that so let me know what you all think of my project I do have a couple more of these bags that I did make and I have not put the letters on yet I'm not sure if I'm going to or not let me know what you all think of that alright so let's go ahead and get to the unbagging all right, so this first one, this I bought from Amazon, and it shipped, after it shipped actually, and I received it today, I always check to see what my orders are like. I had gone on to Amazon, and the picture of the item changed, which kind of freaked me out a little bit. So I was thinking, oh no, I did order it in a different print. Why did the picture change? So hopefully I got the item in the print that I wanted because the print that showed up in the picture if you ever order on Amazon.com and you check your order set sometimes the pictures will change and then so let's see I don't know um, this, I mean the picture didn't change till today and I actually received the item today it was after it shipped that it changed apparently these are no longer available on there so I will show you what this is and then if you are interested, I had seen this on another person's video and I searched and just so happened I did see it on Amazon and I did jump at the chance to buy it. I paid $18.99 for it and I can try to get you the link or get you the information for this item if you're interested and then you'll just have to keep your eyes open because like I said the print picture is really... I don't want to say asymmetrical, but it's really bright and colorful. So this is the tag that's on the item. And I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that has anything to do with the, who sells it and that sort of thing. However, let's go ahead and see. It came with this really actually rather nice black drawstring dust bag. Let's see. Oh, yay. Okay. So this is the print that I did order even though the picture did change today. This is the, it was a cosmetic bag in the brown check print. I did see someone else have this item and I really, I, as I was looking for just checkered items, this popped up. So I jumped at the chance to get it and the zipper, there's a zipper back here and it is beautiful, nice and smooth. On the inside of this pocket, it has a red shiny lining, and already I'm loving that. I almost wish this would come in the black check and the cream check because this is beautiful, and I love using pouches in my bags. And the zipper, as you can see, kind of sticks a little bit going that way. When you open it, it's hinged right there. When you open it, it's nice and smooth. So let's open it. It looks like it's from Toffee, T-O-P-H-I-E, 
Not sure if I'm saying that right. There's a few strings that I can get rid of there. On the inside, it's beautiful. It has the, like a reddish lining, much like a, I wanna say a cranberry color lining. It has pockets right here. There's a pocket there, there's a pocket there. And it has two more pockets right there and right there. Maybe for some lipsticks, chapsticks, or what have you. And then it has a little keychain right there if you wanna put your keys in. And the chain's not very thick, but it looks pretty decent. And it has the lobster clasp on there. Like I said, if you're interested in this, I just go ahead and comment down below and I will get you the information on who is selling it on Amazon and then you can just keep checking for it. Hopefully they'll have this pattern back in stock again. Okay. I might have to put some wax paper on the zipper. It runs smooth that way. However, going this way, it's a little bit rough, but that doesn't bother me at all. It is nice. The stitching seems nice on there. And overall, it is a very nice piece. So let's go ahead and move on. Otherwise, this video is going to be very, very long. And I'm sure you're interested in the other items that I did get. As you all know, if you've all watched my videos, I do like using pouches in my items, in my purses. And my latest video I did was of the Daisy Rose, the black check. Right here, the black check tote. I did do a video on this. Um, and... I did, I was able, if you watched that video, I was able to file the little clasp on the inside to get rid of that sharp edge to make it um, better for my fingers because I wasn't willing to return this one to try to exchange it for a different one. I just wanted to keep this one and move forward. So in doing that, I have, well not in doing the filing, however, in ordering that, I actually wanted the wristlet. And they sold out of the wristlet in the black. So I decided that I was gonna, I wanted to get a couple other items, mainly for catch alls in there. And I like the zipper part of the, the zipper opening of pouches. And I was on the fence on which one to get because the wristlet, it hasn't come back in stock yet. So I wanted to get something. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to get. I have in the cream and the brown check, I did get the crossbody bag with a flap over that you can wear independently if you wanted to. I didn't want to get that one in the black. I wanted something to go inside my bag for like lipsticks, lip, I can't talk, sorry, lipsticks, chapsticks, lotions, things like that. So this is, this is heavy. I've got two items here, this one and this one. Because I wasn't sure. This is, this, wow, this is, I can't believe how heavy this is. It's really very heavy. This is the other crossbody bag that they did offer from Daisy Rose. And this, what, this is RFID. It's an evening bag. Not sure how you pronounce the name of it. It's Daisy Rose Checkered Min Audrey Evening Bag. If anybody else is out, out there that knows how to pronounce that, please let me know. I do not know how to pronounce that. Anyway, I had seen one video on a brown one of this. And the video was in German. I don't speak German. And I kind of followed what she was saying somewhat. However, her video was on the brown check one. I know why it's heavy because the chain's inside. So let me share with you with this one here. And I wanted to share this because I didn't see any videos on this item. And I wanted to see what this was like and if I could use this as a catch all. So this is the crossbody bag, the other option, not the one with the flap, but the one that has the magnetic closure. Okay. It is from Daisy Rose. It is the black. It's a nice size. It has little hinges on the bottom here, which I'm glad I'm gonna have an organizer in this bag because if you run your fingers, those are kind of sharp a little bit. 
and I don't want that to ruin the inside of my fabric on my bag. Just to let you all know that, okay? This has the gunmetal hardware, not the not the silver, okay, all the way around. If you can hear the chain in there, okay? To open it, you just open it like that. And so this is a magnetic clasp, and the chain actually is sticking to the magnets, which tells me it's a very strong magnet. It's got to be, obviously, if you put your stuff in there. And this chain is detachable, and it wants to, as you can see, it wants to constantly hook to that. So let me just take the chain out. Okay, so the chain is hooked on the one side. I'm going to have to look to see the other side. Let me take these little silicone packets out. It's actually a pretty big size on there. I want to undo this chain on there because the one side is hooked, the other side is not. All right, so this is the chain. I gotta look at the chain. Actually, I think this one's gonna go back. I am, this is gonna be my first return for Daisy Rose because unfortunately, they sent me one with a broken clasp and that is the reason why the chain was hooked on the one side, not the other. As you can see, right there that is broken I don't know that I would be using this as an evening bag however I would like to have the option so aside from that the chain is I wonder if I can actually fix that and put a different clasp on there those are really tiny little clasps though but this was rather expensive this was like $32 plus tax so the chain is nice it's nice and heavy However, like I said, this one clasp is not, this one clasp is broken. So, set that aside. Um, let me share with you. Look how big that is inside here. Let me show you. So, that might actually be too big anyway for what I'm looking to do. So, there is a pocket on the inside here. See the pocket right there? You can put whatever cards and things that you want in there and then you can put your chapstick and stuff in there let me share with you the item let me just set this down a minute let me share with you the item that I was wanting to not really get however I was trying to emulate and I'm sure like I said if you guys have seen my other videos you would know that all right, so this item is almost like the mini pochette, okay? And this is the size that basically I use for my catch-all items. And this inside here is what I normally carry. I carry lotions. And there's the other piece that was broken. I'm going to move that over. I have a lotion in there. I have, and as you can see, it's... It's ni This is a nice size here. This lotion, and then I have my Tide to Go pen, a pencil, my flashlight, and some headache medicine on there, and a cough drop. Okay, I don't really carry a whole lot in here, so I wanted. I thought this was going to be closer to this size, but as you can see, it is not. And I was on the fence. This is actually bigger, which is fine. I mean, a little bit bigger. I was on the fence about getting this item. The reason being was the size, and you'd have to. I'd have to pull that out of there and open it like that, just to be able to to get my stuff in there. And let me just see what this would look like inside, because I'm obviously it's broken, so it's going to have to be returned, because I'm not paying thirty-two dollars for something that. I can't even use a chain. So literally, I mean, it would look nice if you had it on sitting down on a table and you just wanted your stuff in there. And that's what it looks like with all the stuff in there. And granted, yes, this would hold quite a bit in there. So, and that's actually nice, but see how that doesn't really, you have to actually force that close to get it to close. So I'm not really happy with this piece. Um, I wanted something with a zipper. 
this has the zipper, you know? So maybe, and I didn't want to get the wristlets they had available because they have the solid, the solid wouldn't be bad if they had a solid wristlet strap to go with it in the solid piping. However, the wristlets that go with the black, the solid ones, literally have the gold. And that's just, I don't know that I'd want to have something that off. It ha if it had the silver, that would be different. Um, this, yeah, I don't, I mean, it's nice for an evening bag if this chain wasn't broken, but I'm not, yeah, this, I'm not, I'm not impressed. Not impressed. So, um, if anybody was interested in this, that's my first impression of this item is that I'm not impressed. This one came broken, like I said, and it's not worth the $32 that this one was selling for. Okay. And plus it's really heavy and it would make my, my hand, my tote that much more heavier. All right. So that's going to be set aside. Like I said, that's going to go, that's just going to have to go back. Uh, I want my money back for that and I'll just spend my $32 on something else. So moving on to the next item that I do have and the next item I bought, uh, not really on the fence, but I bought because there again, I wanted a catch all. So I'm going to scoot that aside there. I wanted a catch all that would match my tote. So let's see what this one's like. Okay, so this I did buy from Walmart.com, and you'll probably all recognize this. I think this one. Um, I think this is what that is. The heck, yep, this is what that is. Let's just see what this is like. This is also a Daisy Rose item, and this might actually be better, obviously, than what I just shared with you. It's not as heavy on there. It is Daisy Rose. It is RFID. Let me scoot the back. The box is going to move aside. Let's go ahead and open this. And if you've seen the ends, obviously, you can see that it's the double zip wallet. And let me find a way to open this. Now, I know this isn't just an open pouch. I get that. And that's the reason why I had bought that other one. But the reason why I was hesitant on buying the other one is because I didn't really want to spend the $32 for that other one. And what is going on? This is all wrapped, however. This tag is not really attached. And if it was, it... It's just weird. Anyway, it is wrapped. It has the tag. Okay, it's got the tag there. Daisy Rose. This and the tag came off in my hand, but that's fine. Daisy Rose Dual Zipper Vegan Leather Black. Oh, I'm going to show you the back of the tag there. So let's just see what this one's like. I know that, that this plastic tag wasn't really attached to that tag. However, let's just see what the condition of this one is. It has the paper that wraps around it. This one, I do also have this item in the cream. And I was happy with that because I wanted to use that as a double wallet. It does not have the wristlet strap. It has the two zipper poles that are both covered in plastic. It has the handle here that slides where you can put your hand in there. I was thinking maybe I can use this as one of my pouches. The zippers, that zipper works really well. That zipper works really well. So, so far so good. The stitching looks good on there. All right, so open it up and take these little foam things out. This side has the zipper, but, well, okay. So the zipper's okay. At first I wasn't sure if it was gonna be okay. It has the full bill slot there, the credit cards, the zipper pouch here. The full credit or the full thing here with the credit card slots there. And then on this side, it just it has a full open pouch, kind of like if you would. It also has a bill slot there, one there, and then a credit card slots there. So I thought about using this as my catch-all. 
maybe on the one side having like, I know it might sound ludicrous, but having like a first aid kit, band-aids, neosporin, that type of thing on this side, medical cards possibly. On this side, I was thinking on, now I want to see what that's going to look like, my, my lotions and things, and if this doesn't work, I might just keep it as a wallet, however, let's just see how this closes. So I just have my little thing of lotion. This, I mean, obviously it's not as not as big as this here, but yeah, that's probably not going to work for what I want it for either. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, which I knew. I mean, it was one of those things where I wasn't sure if that would actually work. I need something that's a pouch, you know, something that literally has more like this. So there we go. I'm not sure if, because if I do this and then I try to close it up, I don't know that that's going to, I might just keep this as a, just a wallet because that only didn't fit everything in there. And I'm not even going to try to put the other stuff in the other side. So I'm not sure about this. If my idea is obviously not going to work for what I want it to want. This was only 1998 on walmart.com. I might just keep this as the wallet. Um, I will decide and then let you all know in a, in a different video whether or not I decide to return this as well. I am not sure. I'm just not sure. Okay. I know the other thing is definitely going back. This, I'm not sure yet. So, because it's not what I wanted as far as... I wanted the wristlet is what I wanted and they sold out so maybe I'll just keep my eye open for the wristlet which is what I wanted for my catch-all I know this came with the little thing and maybe I would just use that as my catch-all which was my original plan but I thought maybe if I had something in addition to okay so that is that all right, so I will probably be uploading another video. I didn't want to put two videos together because obviously this is a long video. So this is my Daisy Rose items that I did get. Let me know what you all think about the items that I did present today. Let me know what you think about my dust bag that I made. And we'll go from there. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and for those of you that have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see my upcoming videos and any of the new finds and my first impressions of the items that I do get. And as always, you have a great evening, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye now.